Welcome to another moment of truth and we thank God that we are able to come your way again this time around. Last time we started a definition on factor and we saw that factor is a very essential number in the world of mathematics and in the world of numbers and it can divide without a remainder. And now I pushed a little bit to the world of applied science and I said forget about number, let's look at about um, what um, applied science, where we talk about coagulation factor in the blood line. That if a man's coagulation factor is too low, he may not be able to do, blood clotting will not take place. And that fellow, if he gets injured, certain things can happen. He can even bleed to death. Also, what I want to push a little bit, that is what I call, there are some enzymes in our body. They are a type of factor also. They assist our digestive system. If they are not there, people get constipated. And a little factor of enzyme introduced into our system will resolve every form of constipation, every form of um, uncomfortable situations of our life, and discomfort, they, it will take care of it. That is what factor does. When it comes into play in the area of applied science, a lot of things will happen. Now, factors can be positive or they can be negative in their operation. For example, before I talk about positive or negative, you know, growth, if certain hormones are not there, they constitute a factor that distorts growth. But the moment that factor is introduced, growth is inevitable. So also in your reproductive system, not only reproductive system, even in our cognitive system, there are some factors in our body. They are like, they are sci in the science world, if they are there, everything works normally but the moment they are very absent just for some split of space of time you yourself you will know that you are not yourself anymore so also we want to get to understand this but when we take it into the realm of the spiritual now we are going to start approaching the god that we want to talk about in the area of god as a factor factor they can be positive they can be negative it can work against a man it can work for a man there are some factors you don't want even though there are factors that divide your problem but the moment they come into your life they can multiply negatively in some directions and that's not what you want and of course, the scripture will give us all those. Their positive operation will most of the time enhance a, us while the negative will pull us down. They can be very, very devastating. For example, disobedience can be a factor. When a man disobeys the counsel of God, it becomes a terrible factor that can reduce a man to nothing. When a man does not believe God, is a factor in itself. And when unbelief as a factor comes into a man's life, it can reduce that man into a jungle or wilderness lifestyle. That's not what you want. We also know that fear can be a factor. Fear can be a factor. Now, let me push a little bit on the area of fear. Fear is a factor that devastates in a negative sense. It torments, the scripture says, fear has torment. In 1 John chapter 4, verse 18, 1 John chapter 4, verse 18, fear has torment. There is no fear in love, says the scripture, but perfect fear casted out fear. Perfect love casted out fear because fear has torment. He that fear is not made perfect in love. That is the word of God. So you don't want fear as, an, as a factor in your life. Fear is an is a complete opposite of faith. In fact, it turns faith to unbelief. Before you know it, if you that has been full of faith before, the moment you allow fear to grip you, you will begin to be afraid and not be able to believe God. And it truncates a man's destiny. That's not what you want. Fear is a terrible factor. Fear as a factor was so devastating a device for the children of Israel. When the children of Israel got to the edge of the promised land in Numbers chapter 13, the Bible says they were afraid of their enemy. And God has already told them, don't be afraid of them. Fear gripped their heart. And before you know it, the people that were very enthusiastic about going into the promised land, they got to the edge of the promised land. And the moment fear, a factor that divides without a remainder, 
touch their life, they became like a vegetable and they couldn't possess the land. I want you to go in the course of this week to possess the gates of your enemy. Never, never allow fear to break into your arena, to break into your heart. We will discuss a little bit about it more because fear can be very terrible. I can show you what fear will do in the life of a man as a terrible factor. Go and prosper and never be afraid of your situation. Trust your God. Let fear be out of your way. Let faith be your own factor instead of fear. In the name of Jesus Christ, have a wonderful time out there. The Lord bless you.